Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Billy. Today I would like to share with you three winter wool dresses that have absolutely no darts in either the bodice or the skirt. This video is part two of the series. And so for more information, please check out my last video, video number 19, for more in-depth description about the series. So for very quickly, uh, the bodice is, uh, I use New Look 6723, the princess scene bodice, um, so that there are no darts. And for the skirt, it's a quarter circle skirt from New Look 6843, and therefore it also has no darts. For the color that I used on these dresses are generally based on McCall's M5525, and I previously talked about uh, using this color for my fall coat um, in my video number 18. And for the inseam pocket, I used a uh, Vogue's Very Easy Vogue V9197. And this is the very first pattern that I have ever used in my dressmaking journey. So this one was discussed in my video number one. So the first dress that I will show you today is made with a, um, is a single crepe, 100% uh, wool in black. And this one is identical in all respects in terms of bodice and skirt uh, from the last batch. In the sense that it's a uh, princess scene bodice and a uh, quarter circle skirt. So you know the back and the circle skirt. And for this one, I made um, an inseam pocket here. Um, it's a little hard to see because it's black. But basically, you know, it's like this, and it's uh, made with the same fabric. So then even when you stick your hand in, it will not show. And I'm very pleased how this came out, uh, that it's very smooth, you know, so you cannot really see any gaps. So it really sits flat, uh, really on the seam. So it really does live up to its name of being an inseam pocket. And the difference for the ones that I will show you today is in the color. Um, so for this one, I decided to try something different. So um, so I decided to uh, turn to McCall's MM25 collar um, that I discussed before in the coat making video. Um, but because for that one, I saw the collar was a bit too large for a dress. So I um, so I pared it down, you know, kind of shrink it down a bit to make it a bit more proportionate to um, for a dress. And so what I did there was it was a single piece collar, and I cut up the pattern, you know, as a you know I traced it again, and I cut up my the new traced copy and cut it up in the center back, and then I extended. Uh, by uh, whatever I needed to achieve the overlapping that I saw, you know, that I would be pleasing to me. And so this was version one of this round collar. And for the back, um, it's still a pointed uh, collar, as you can see. And overall, I'm very pleased with it. So I am very glad uh, how this one turned out. And for this one, I did not line it, um, so other than the sleeves. Um, and for again for the method by which I used uh, I used to line my sleeves, please check out my uh, Carolina Herrera sew along in my video number seventeen. So here is a quick video of this uh, black wool crepe dress, and uh, because the uh, the collar is a bit plain, you know, I didn't have any embellishment on it. I paired it with a, a pearl necklace um, that. Uh, in question is 16 inches in length. And I thought I look very uh, professional, but a little cute, a little uh, different from the standard of dresses that I normally wear. So I am very pleased uh, how this turned out. And uh, with the additional pockets, it really makes life very easy. So I'm very happy how it uh, turned out. The second dress that I will share with you today is this 100% wool dress uh, made uh, from a fabric by the designer Carolina Herrera. And uh, you may notice that this fabric is a little familiar. Um, it is because it is. Um, I previously used the same fabric um, in making a shift dress 
from New Look 6176 talked about in my video number 16 and also this is the same dress was featured in my sew along video uh, video number 17 and after I made up the new look 6176 dress I had about about three quarters of yard left from a, a two yard uh, fabric and since I really like this fabric because it's so soft and I thought the coloring is so elegant I decided to get another yard of the same fabric so then I would have enough fabric for a dress and so this is the result of that additional yard and so for this dress it really is the same uh, so the same uh, princess and princess seam uh, bodice front and back with a center invisible zipper and the same quarter skirt and for this one as with the black one I actually lengthened it a bit uh, as much as I could um, so then uh, it's about two inches longer than the versions that I show you in my last video and the difference of this one from the black wool crepe one is that I made the collar a little larger uh, because I wanted to see what it would look like with a larger collar that is closer in size to the original McCall's M5525 collar that I used in my fall wool coat talked about in my video number 18 and so this is the result so in addition to making the collar a bit wider I also um, lengthen each color piece by about one inch um, as you can see you know this is one piece over and then another piece under and I secure them with this very nice brooch that I got from amazon.com and so I uh, I'm very happy how this turned out I cannot say which one which version I like better um, but they really look different and um, I like them both very much and for this one I kept the bag uh, at the, this sort of a corner here a uh, square and so um, really pleased how this turned out uh, with the same inseam pocket etc it's just so convenient so here is a quick video of this uh, Carolina Herrera dress and I really liked it it's so soft and it's just a very uh, sort of a relaxed look and but still very put together so I am very happy uh, with how it turned out the third dress that I will show you today is this uh, dusty rose plaid uh, dress made with a coating material and um, this dress is the same in all respects um, as the previous two uh, you know with the same princess seam bodice and also the quarter circle skirt but for this one, the color, uh, I use the same color as the baby blue Carolina Herrera dress. So the color is a bit larger, but because this fabric is a bit firmer uh, versus the Carolina Herrera fabric, so it somehow doesn't dip as low. But for this one, I decided to do a version three of the color, uh, the black crepe one being version one and the baby blue Carolina Herrera dress being version two. And version three is uh, instead of a pointed collar, I decided to round out the collar in the back. Um, and, um, you know, just so that I would try something different. And I do like it. I thought it looked really cute. So I'm very happy with it. And for this dress, um, it's a little bit of a labor of love love to line up everything considering I only have one and a half yards of fabric and so I managed to line up the center front and the sides and um, and also the skirt because I lined up at the underarm seam so generally you know the the sleeves pattern uh, do continue on into the bodice and onto the other sleeves and same thing with the back bodice as well you know this, this lines up very well unfortunately I didn't have enough so then I really could not line up say the front going all the way to the side there is a little bit of a gap here but uh, it's okay because uh, it's really you know people probably would not pay much attention and then also the same and also the same thing with the skirt because I didn't have enough fabric so I could not line up the 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 back portion with the the um, the back bodice uh, but then again you know because it's in the back so I decided to let it go and for this one I managed to cut out 
the whole dress using one and a half inches, uh, sorry, one and a half yards of fabric because uh, for the pockets, I had to sew up uh, many small pieces to make up uh, for the fabric needed to make the pockets. And, but at the same time, it's strangely satisfying that when I was done, the scraps were truly scrappy and they were just tiny. Um, so I'm very happy uh, how this turned out. And then I wore this dress recently to a holiday lunch um, and uh, I really liked it. I thought it was a bit festive and uh, it's a little different from the other red wool dress, uh, the, the fabric by Marc Jacobs. So I thought that would be a, a good sort of a, an alternate holiday dress. So here is a quick video of this uh, dusty rose plaid dress. As you can see, it's really nice. I am very happy uh, with how it, it came out. And for this video, my dog, George Costanza, made, an, made a guest appearance. So I am very appreciative of him taking the time to join us. For the dusty rose uh, plaid dress, I did line it. And so here is the quick look of the lining and um, so as you can see this is the bodice front and so you know so basically I made exactly the same thing you know the same size and everything same construction and so this is the front and this is the skirt and then this is the back itself so it's the center back zipper and and with this and I just love how the dress looks so finished when it is lined and uh, even though it did take a little more time, but I just think it's so worth it. And as you can see, the collar is sandwiched in between the outer uh, fashion fabric and the lining. And so it's entirely encased. And because it's entirely encased, I did not have to surge or overlock it because I, uh, since it's, in, it's uh, put away, so I'm not so concerned about it uh, unraveling. So here are the three winter wool dresses that I recently made and I'm very pleased how they turned out and uh, one noteworthy point about the round collar from McCall's M5525 is that it is not cut on the bias unlike the collar that I talked about using New Look 6000. And because the McCall collar is not cut on the bias, in a way it's a little more economical in terms of the usage of fabric. So, uh, so if you are somewhat tight in the availability of your fabric, I think the round collar uh, could be a very good choice uh, if it suits your overall design goal. And as for the two sizes of the round collar, I cannot say which one I like more. So most likely it would just come down to how much fabric I have and also what the look I'm trying to achieve. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I would like to wish you a very happy holiday season and I hope I will see you soon. Bye bye.